Well, a quick, painless, and inexpensive test can save a baby's life. And many doctors think it should be required by law for all newborns, but it's a tough sell in Madison. Tom Murray is here with this I-Team investigation. Tom? Well, Carol, Mike, this test can reveal life-threatening illness in a baby that looks healthy. This screening takes about a minute, no pricks or pokes. It costs only a few bucks. Many states require it by law, but not Wisconsin. This is a superhero. Aiden is an energetic first grader in Oconomowoc. Uh, uh, but this seven-year-old almost died just weeks after he was born. Even the surgeon had told us if we would have waited even till the next morning, more than likely he would not have been with us. Aiden's mom, Melanie, believes her son would have been spared a childhood of daily medications, tube feedings, frequent doctor visits, and developmental therapy if we had a simple test before leaving the hospital. We would have had surgery within those first few days. He wouldn't have been deprived of oxygen, which could be why he has developmental delays. It's called a pulse oximetry screening, or simply pulse ox. A bandage holds a tiny probe on a baby's hand. The painless, non-invasive test checks oxygen in the baby's blood. It can be the first indicator that a newborn has a potentially deadly hidden illness. Babies can look healthy, but may not be healthy, and that's what the test reveals? Exactly. There may be some subtle findings that we can determine by pulse oximetry that wouldn't be determinable by other methods. Dr. Stuart Berger is medical director of cardiology at Children's Hospital. He believes the state should require a pulse ox test for all newborns. Our goal in Wisconsin is to have 100% of hospitals and 100% of babies screened because we will save lives. Look at the number of states that already mandate pulse ox tests before a newborn leaves the hospital. But Wisconsin lawmakers are reluctant. Wisconsin's um, falling behind a little bit on this one. The American Heart Association's Nicole Hudzinski has been trying to persuade politicians to pass a law since the test can catch critical heart defects early. What do you say to those who would contend this should be up to the parents, not up to the government? Um, I think that um, parental decisions are important in things like this, and there is, at least in the legislation we're working on, the, uh, the opportunity for parents to opt out of this screening. Advocates blamed State Senate Health Committee Chair Leah Vukmir for blocking mandatory newborn pulse ox tests. So you will not raise the original bill in the State Senate? No. This registered nurse argues doctors, not politicians, should make decisions on required infant screenings. And it's about better government and making sure that this process and the decision and the recommendations are made by people who understand the research and people who really understand how the technology works. 85% of Wisconsin hospitals voluntarily screen all newborns in their care including all hospitals in the Milwaukee area. Early screening is, is important so you can avoid those developmental delays in children like Aiden. Now, advocates are optimistic about what they're seeing at the state capitol now. Senator Leah Vukmir is pushing a bill that would give authority, new authority, to an existing panel of medical experts. If the measure passes, those medical experts would then be able to make the pulse ox test mandatory in Wisconsin. Boy, it seems like an important test. A lot of states are falling in line. We'll see if Wisconsin is next. Let's hope, though. Thank you very much, Tom.